Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Oscar Stromberg My Play Karimo. It's episode number 11 here as you can see and we're in Los Angeles just arriving at the LAFC training grounds and as you can see guys it's Sunday the 8th at the moment and we've got an early training session this week just to go over a few tactics and drills because the uh, manager is a bit unhappy with recent performances and our positioning on the table at the moment so he wants to make sure we sort things out and make sure that things are going to turn around soon guys and the coach actually wants to have a quick chat with us before we head into the training session and if only we could park properly we would be able to go and get underway with that chat but as you can see here Oscar had a bit of a rough morning getting ready we got that knock on the car from when we arrived at the manager's office still which we need to get repaired which is going to be happening in this episode which is going to be the poll for this episode and you will see later on but as you can see here for now guys we're going to have a quick chat with the coach about a few things that have happened so far Oscar, we haven't had the best start in the MLS this season, but you've been doing your best. And with some good team performances, I believe we can start to turn this season around. Yeah, I feel like I'm improving with every match. It's good performances from the team would really help the squad morale. Yeah, gaining some form in this league is vital to a successful season. Yeah, I agree, and hopefully we can start that momentum going in the next match this week. Let's hope so. Now come on, we don't want to be late for training. As you can see there, guys, it's glad. I'm glad to see the coach has a bit of faith in us as we go into this next training session and is still in belief that we are doing a pretty good job, guys. As you can probably tell from the team's performances, the team themselves haven't been playing the best, so it's a bit unfair to blame it on me in terms of conceding goals, which is nice. And we have been getting a pretty consistent average match rating. We have conceded some goals we shouldn't have done, but a lot of defensive errors have occurred and there's been a lot of lack of goal scoring in terms of the strikers and the rest of the team and possession wise so it's going to be a bit of a team effort to push on and turn this around but guys we've had a big serious chat with the squad here today in this training session and everyone is in agreement that things need to change which is great and we're going to be finishing up our training session here today with a nice a to, uh, b to finish it off and we're going to be heading into the next day which is a monday guys and we've got a day off today so we are going to be heading for a trip up to the hollywood sign guys as you can see here we're in Hollywood, Los Angeles. We got a day off. We got a lazy day, and we thought we'd do something different. And uh, I keep seeing the sign every time I drive around the city, guys. The big Hollywood sign on top of the hill. And I think maybe it's time to go climb it, guys. But I'm not going to be like your average hitchhiker. I'm not just going to climb up to it and have a look from underneath. But guys, we're going to go a bit crazy and a bit daring and actually go up to the top of one of the letters on the Hollywood sign. It's going to be pretty fun. Might take a selfie while we're up the top there as well and um, see what we can get up to. As you can see, guys, from the LAFC um, Western Conference MLS table, we're currently played four games. One none, drawn two, lost two. And we've got two points on the table, which is a bit unfortunate for us this season. And uh, But we are hoping to turn this around as we go on further into the season as you can see here guys we're just arriving at the hollywood sign now i'm going to do a quick couple of shout outs for anyone who commented in the last episode april fools oscar i've got tfo aspect here thank you for that i've also got um what have we got here just looking through the comments now april fools oscar from young comment another great video keep it up thank you for that one and we're just arriving here guys as you can see ts vlogs as well april fools oscar thank you for that one and uh, we also got some comments some very nice comments guys i hope you enjoyed the last episode with the april fools joke it was actually really funny for me to put in and um i thought it was hilarious that i was able to do that and it was able to first i just managed to realize what the day was at the time so i thought i'd tie that in nicely and it worked out pretty well so i hope you guys enjoyed that little extra thing we had going on which is pretty cool as you can see here we're climbing all the way up to the top of the hollywood sign guys on the top of the hill in los angeles and it's like so high up in the sky it's ridiculous we just parked down the bottom and we're just making our way up now and we just get to the top here and there's not really many safety guards or anything up here you're not supposed to come up here but guys we thought we would anyway and stand on top and as you can see we just managed to get up top pretty pretty easily and quite safely it's not the not the most yeah not the safest of things in the world but guys we're up here and the view is amazing look at it down there and if you guys have followed us on instagram you will see a um selfie that we're about to take is going to be put up on instagram and we're going to get our phone out now and take it and then chuck it up on instagram for you guys to comment on and then in the next episode we'll be able to have a couple of shout outs from that as well which is pretty cool and uh, as you can see here guys we're just trying to get our angles right and oscar cannot work his camera whatsoever he doesn't know what he's doing with the camera so he has to put it away turn around and try and try again guys but as you can see like, he's just trying to figure it out the selfie view makes it go backwards so he's going to turn it that way and then he's going to flip the screen 
And here we are with our awesome view, guys, of the city. There it is, Los Angeles here in the sunny, sunny California. It looks awesome, guys. If you are new here, please give us a like, share, subscribe, guys. Everybody who is here, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Please give us a big thumbs up if you have made it this far in the episode. And uh, if you're listening in later on at some point, there will be that little thing I say at someone, sometime, very quickly in the episode, which I'll ask you to comment something. And as soon as you hear that, make sure you do it to get yourselves a shout out. And look at that, a little selfie take from Oscar as you can see and that's going to be going up onto Instagram for Oscar to get his social media gear and following up a little bit more and hopefully we can continue on our career guys we've got lots of cool things happening as we go you guys chose in the episode before where we are going to be doing the um the proposal from the agent which is going to be a very interesting photo shoot coming up in a few episodes time which is going to be cool and as you can see here guys we're going to be getting into a bit of fitness another yoga session down at the beach guys and we're arriving here now at malibu beach in los angeles usa for tuesday the 10th of april and we're going to be getting into this yoga session here going to pay our usual 20 dollars. almost ran someone over there shouldn't have been walking across the road when the car was coming and there's the yoga session going on on the side of the beach already started without me but that's okay i wasn't planning on being here the whole time because as we arrived we kind of noticed the um there's someone there at the back who is that girl from the last episode guys she's here at the yoga session i have a feeling i'll be seeing her around somewhere soon and there she is guys also here's the rep bars and the focus bars if you guys want to take a look at these for this episode nothing changing at the moment just continuing on as we go through but guys this girl here I'm gonna figure out what her name is somewhere soon and uh, we're just gonna get underway with a bit of yoga as you can see now i'm gonna get into a little bit of a chat with her maybe we can ask for her number or something and uh see what we can do about that but guys here we are getting underway with that chat real quick Hey, I've been seeing you around quite a bit lately. Are you from around here? Yeah, just around the corner. I've been seeing you around too. Not just on the pitch. Maybe we could hang out sometime if you want? Yeah, that could be fun. Here's my number. Text me. All right, guys, are you hear that then? We are making progress. We have got her number. Still don't know what her name is, but she was too busy um, doing her yoga to really talk too much. But guys, we have her number. What should we do with that? Let me know in the comments down below. That won't be a poll, so I'm sure we will be texting her. But what should we say? What should we ask? That's a question for you guys. Hit up the comments if you want to try and have a say in what happens there. We just paid for our yoga class, and here we are heading the next day out of another training session, guys. We had two training sessions this week just out of. Uh, this is our normal one now. The other one was in a kind of emergency. Sunday session so as you can see here guys we're making our way down back to our car after the training session and we had a pretty good time working on the usual tactics and stuff as we do but guys as we got into the car park we're about to head home we noticed something very strange or strange strange with our car look at this guys the front windshield and the door and the front and the side window of the passenger side has been bashed in it has got so many dents all over it there's a smashed glass here and there is the smash windshield this is so crazy even this back door is slightly ajar as well guys this is crazy someone has been having a go at our car and has really done some damage to the exterior and this is not looking good we're definitely going to have to get this car repaired and respray now we were going to get a respray anyway at the um, end of this week but now we've definitely got to get it repaired as well so maybe we can get it repaired and resprayed at the same time but that is crazy guys no sign of who did it or why but guys we have a feeling we could figure out who though because in the next episode i am going to let you guys see who it is we're going to head to the um we're going to head to the LAFC stadium we're going to report this and we're going to look at some of the security footage with some of the security team and figure out who did this if they are caught on the cameras which are above the area there in the car park and figure out who it is and maybe why they did it and that'll be an interesting thing that's going to change some um change some thoughts for you guys so who do you think did it let me know in the comments down below who you think destroyed our car window and door guys it's a very interesting subject happening right now so let me know your comments and thoughts and we'll see who we might think it is in the next episode as you can see here guys we're having a lazy day back at home in los angeles and uh, we're just going to be getting underway we've got no instagram shout outs today because i did not post anything on oscar's instagram but there is now the um selfie from the from the hollywood sign which will be up for the next episode's shout out guys as you can see here we're just going to have a quick chat about theo colas and his series i did some i did some numbers and some figuring out and as you know now this is oscar's 11th episode and there's theo right there still playing for arsenal coming towards the end of his season in the english premier league with Arsenal Youth Academy. Now, from my calculations, I said the 26th to a lot of you, the 26th episode. I think Oscar, um, the way it's working is we're in April 
we're in April the um, 12th right now and Theo starts on the 1st of July so we have got two months less than two months now we've got all of May and half of April to get through Oscar and uh, and June sorry and then that's when um, that's when he will start for Theo so I'm just trying to remember everything so it should be episode number 22 of Oscar which will be depending on how quickly we get these out which will be pretty soon you'll be able to see Theo's series go so guys the shout out for this episode you get a shout out in the next episode quickly say it right now comment down below bring on Theo Colas that's all you need to say in the comments down below to get a shout out in the next episode guys so make sure you do that and that's some info on Theo Colas for you to look forward to as we get his series underway it's going to be a pretty epic series got it all planned out got it all ready go to go for you guys and it's going to be some epic stories to coincide with the times and dates of this Oscar Stromberg series as well. So it's going to be pretty crazy how we deal with that. But guys, heading into the next day now, we're heading into Friday the 13th of April into the game against Vancouver Whitecaps FC we've got coming up today. And we're just at LAX once again, as all of these games in America, as one of you nice people commented in the last episode, guys are so far apart. We're having away fixture after away fixture at the moment. So we're going to be heading now to the away fixture again, Vancouver this one to be. And then we've got a lot of home fixtures coming up and then we're going to be playing some of the teams away from home and at, um, um, away and home from the other league as well from the Eastern Conference as you can see here we didn't quite keep our one key sheet we needed to for our upcoming targets for the last month but we did manage to keep our average match rating of 6.0 to a 7.0 which is really great and we made some good save ratios as you can see here guys our upcoming targets for the next four games are going to be average match rating of 9.0 one clean sheet and 2.0 goals conceded per game which is pretty good so conceding less than two goals per game which should be doable against white caps and a few other teams coming up in the next month or so guys as you can see here we've just left the city of los angeles we're arriving here now in vancouver and we're at vancouver international airport and we're arriving down at oscar stromberg 70 overall now 20 years old worth 4.2 million got a average of 7.0 in the mls this season and heading into this next game now can we get the first one of the season here today guys against vancouver it's away from home it's a big game here at the bc palace i believe and it's going to be hope hopefully the first one of the season if we can get a um, win out of this one whether we get a clean sheet or not that is yet to be seen guys it'll be really good to get our first clean sheet and it'll be a big day for us when we do do that because as you can see here from the Vancouver Whitecaps lineup they are going to be playing a pretty pretty average formation a pretty usual one it's a 4-4-2 they got Ren, um, Reina and Blondell up front they got Davis Galzal Felipe and Cherie in the midfield and they're going to fill the players at the back as well as you can see here guys Oscar Stromberg here in the lineup for LAFC on goal as you can see obviously guys and uh, we're going to be getting things underway very very soon and uh, LAFC's lineup today looking pretty much the same as it has been the last two games so nothing much changing at the moment we've got Oscar Stromberg in goal Danilio Silva Right back Zimmerman, Simon at centre back, Harvey at left back, Malice Horta, Atsu at centre mid. And then we've got Ramirez up front with Rossi on the left and Vela on the right, guys. So hopefully we can see some goals from the boys today, get some good team performances in. After the um, Sunday training session, the emergency training session we had and the team meeting we had at training, hopefully that changes a lot of things. And hopefully the players actually start performing a little bit better and playing a bit better as a team and uh, hopefully we can turn this around and this league around in this game because we just haven't been playing very well this season as you can see here coming forward Whitecaps with the first chance of the game they're heading it around nicely and the ball comes straight to Scromberg's hands and he makes a good save in the 10th minute to make a nice easy first save for himself Paul going up the pitch now but comes straight back here guys and it's going to be coming back to Oscar Stromberg once again can he get a good save in here are they going to come forward with the chance the ball comes over the top here to Young there leads it to Davis and a shot there sees Stromberg make another good little save here to his uh, gentle save to his hands and here we come now with the next chance the ball through now in the 19th minute there Davis on the ball crosses it to the back post manages Harvey to get it clear away from the line of Oscar Stromberg and the ball's coming back in the play though can they get a chance here Whitecaps on the ball Vancouver going to take a shot there it's just gone wide of the goal and Stromberg but luckily it doesn't have to make a save there because I think that might have gone past him if he was if it was on target here we come now Vela heading the ball down for the next chance of the game a shot there from the midfielder sees it saved by the goalkeeper in the 23rd minute and here we are heading on with the next chance of it now we've got De Jong on the ball pushing around pushing into the box now Davis can they put this one forward now Gazelle Davis they're pushing forward down the left wing here are they going to get a chance into the box here a really good chance with the header and it's gone in the back of the net Oscar Stromberg unable to save this one at his near post the header flicked on really nicely into the back of the net by Blondell and he has gone and put the goal in to make it 1-0 in this game guys 38 minutes played and the Vancouver Whitecaps have taken an unfortunate 1-0 lead LAFC trailing now 
and the home fans here very happy indeed about this one as you can see here guys the ball comes into the box and a header kind of backwards I was ready for the flick on header but it didn't quite come and it went to the near post which I just about wasn't ready for even though we got in the right position and we were able, weren't able to save it and that's his um, Blondell scoring his second goal in the league this season so unfortunately for Oscar Stromberg we have conceded the first goal here but can we turn this around guys 39 minutes in we've got a whole half and five minutes to go can we turn this one around here comes LAFC with the first chance for the themselves in the 41st minute pushing down the left wing now we've got a chance pushing forward here and the ball has gone out for a corner kick here to the LAFC boys and we've got a chance coming with this ball to get inside the box here can we put this one into the center area as Vela puts it in nicely there and Ramirez goes and puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-1 in this game Vela with a very nice assist from that corner and Ramirez heading it past the goalkeeper to go into the back of the net to make it 1-0 up 1-1 in this game guys the equalizing goal here just before the halftime whistle goes and look at that ball in from Vela straight to his head and a really good flick header onto the back of the post and it's gone past the goalkeeper and in and a very nice one indeed as you can see there good header from Ramirez over the goalkeeper's hands and that's his first goal in the MLS this season which is surprising seeing as we're into our fifth game now this is our fifth game in the MLS guys and that's like one of the first goals we've conceded we've only scored we've only scored like two or three goals this season which is really really disappointing from the team but as you can see here guys coming into half time now a chance coming forward for Whitecaps can they make it 2-1 just before half time a shot there and Stromberg makes a really good save to put his stat points up to 7.1 in this game not playing too badly but throwing it there straight to the opposition a mistake from Stromberg sees him trailing back there but the ball has been chipped over the net and out of play very luckily for him and here goes the halftime whistle in this game guys and we're going to be heading into the break currently at 1-1 away from home against Vancouver Whitecaps they've had 50% possession with us six shots for them four on target three shots at four LAFC and two on target for us 1-1 on the scoreline as we head into the second half now can anyone get a goal in this game is Oscar Schumer going to concede another one or LAFC going to win and hold on guys we'll have to wait and see how we go in the second half come on LAFC can we get something out of this one the ball has been passed around nicely can we get this one forward now? LAFC on the ball. Malice here. Can we work this forward into the box? It's laid there nicely to Horta. Horta pushes through out of nowhere. And he goes and puts it in the back of the net. Just like that. It is 2-1 on the scoreline. 50 minutes in. Didn't see that coming. And he just pushed through the mid middle of the defense there. No one really got a tackle in. I think the ball bounced really nicely for him. And he went and put it in the back of the net with a really good finish. Look at this play from Malice. Lays it through there. He kind of just pushes past the defender who did not get a tackle in. And the goalkeeper was not ready for that. And he manages to put it down the side of the net to make his first goal of the MLS season go in the back of the net in the 51st minute in this game against Vancouver and we have taken a surprising 2-1 lead here guys a very nice way to do so as well so 2-1 up now in the 51st minute guys can we hold this till the final whistle can we hold on to it 60 minutes in though here come Vancouver with the next chance of the game they're coming forward now down their um, right wing they're going to get across into the box they're a really good chance at the back post and it's just gone wide by Davis that should have been a goal luckily for LAFC it was not on target guys here we are in the 71st minute pushing forward now Davis on the ball lays it wide to De Jong De Jong crosses it to the back post and Oscar Strom is going to go out to claim this one and he makes a really good diving save and saves that one get a 6.5 or a 7.5 on his score so far his match rating at the moment guys 83 minutes into this one now Ramirez gets tackled there on the edge of the box and it's going to be a free kick here to LAFC who are really on top at the moment which is nice to see the chance from the free kick coming now runs onto the ball Vela hits it and look at this guys I thought I just added the goal decision to Technology. You can see how close that was. A shot there. Saved by the goalkeeper. Just on the line. Look how close that was from Vela. Almost him. What a great save from the goalkeeper. To keep that one out. No goal, says the goal line technology. And as the ball comes back out, guys, here we are continuing on now. And that was a pretty awesome little snippet, guys. And a very good shot from Vela from that free kick. Unable to put it in the back of the net, though. 87 minutes in. A chance from the uh, corner kick here. And it goes in the back of the net to score our third goal in this game. Out of nowhere, guys. 87 minutes in and Vancouver Whitecaps are trailing here to LAFC 3-1 and looks like LAFC will be getting our first win in the MLS this season and what a way to do so guys it's taken long enough but we've gone and grabbed ourselves a very nice three points here with 3-1 on the scoreline with only two minutes remaining this corner came in and a very good little volley here after the second bounce there on the bicycle kick from him and it goes in the back of the net and that's his second goal of the season in the MLS playing really well so far this season guys can 
can we hold on for two more minutes? I'm sure we can. As long as we don't concede any more goals, we will be ready and raring to go into the next game of the MLS in the next episode, guys. As you can see here, a chip through ball coming in the 93rd minute with no added time now. A header from Vela goes straight to the goalkeeper's hands. Is this it, guys? Is this the chance we've been waiting for? Is it going to be the win? There it is, guys. We have gone and grabbed all three points here today away from home to Vancouver Whitecaps. Three points on the table. A very nice 3-1 win. One goal conceded by Stromberg. 70 overall. Four shots caught. No shots parried. And a very nice general play. It was just great in that game. 7.5 final match rating as well, which is really good to see. Not quite the 9.0 that we were asked to do, but we did play pretty well, only conceding one goal in that game. And that's a pretty happy performance here from the LEFC team and fans and Oscar Stromberg. So guys, here we are now back at Vancouver International Airport about to head home to Los Angeles where we're going to be going back from this plane and we've got one more day to go in this episode in which we are going to be doing the poll for this episode which is going to be a big choice for you guys as it affects our daily episode things pretty much for the car so as you can see here guys we're just taking off now and we're going to be flying back to LA from Vancouver and uh, we're going to be leaving here late night or as we head into the evening and arriving back in Los Angeles first thing the next morning, which is going to be really good. So we have a whole, whole day to get a few things done. As you can see here, guys, just leaving Vancouver now and arriving back in Los Angeles, where we're going to be landing and touching down very soon and heading off straight to the um, straight to the the pay and spray shop, the car place where we're going to be getting our car repaired by the mechanic. And it's going to be up to you guys in this episode of what you want to see the car color to change to so we're going to get the windscreen repaired we're going to get the door repaired and we're going to find out in the next episode who did that and why and you need to let me know in the comments down below what you think of that situation and we're also going to be giving you a poll in this episode to choose one of five options of what you want to see guys as you can see Horta's quality performance coming up there as a piece of news from LAFC which is great to see he's getting his recognition from midfield after scoring his really nice goal and also Harvey from a left back jubilant with his chances here at LAFC but guys the poll right now which color should our car be sprayed it's going to be up to you guys whatever one you choose will be the one we pick for the next episode we've got matte black which is going to cost us five hundred dollars as option number one we've got white as four hundred dollars which is option number two we've got gold as option number three for four hundred dollars we've got pink as option number four for four hundred dollars and we have got chrome as option number five for eight hundred dollars so we're just arriving here now guys make sure you get your um your poll decision and your vote in to the poll. Make sure you leave your comments and all that jazz. Make sure you talk about everything you want to talk about and ask me any questions you need to, guys. We are going to finish this episode up here. You guys have a choice with the poll for which color you want to see us spraying this car and we're going to get it repaired and then we're going to find out in the next episode who has been doing things to our car. So let me know all those comments down below. Give us a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with a friend if you haven't. Let them know these awesome things that are going on and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you're up to date with all the latest Oscar Stromberg and Theo Colas episodes as and when they come by clicking the links above here. And don't forget to subscribe with that middle button of GMS there. You can also follow the players now on Instagram and Twitter at Theo Colas T and Oscar Stromberg K, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.